Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Irvin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 127, Alternate Number Systems. All right, today's question uh, sent in, uh, trying to add up eggs. All right, so 10-15 means 10 trays plus 15 eggs. Each tray is 30 eggs. And we want to be able to add these up and then read Reduce it. Uh, so we wouldn't want to say something like um, you know 12 trays dash 65 eggs. That's not correct. We want to take that 65 and reduce it. Say that's two trays plus five extra eggs. Um, so uh, uh, the only way that I know to attack this uh, is going to be to switch over to VBA and write a custom function. Uh, so let's do Alt F11 here. And I wrote a function called sum eggs. So you know we have a sum function in Excel. This is going to be the sum eggs function. We pass it my range. Uh, just a couple of shortcuts here to define WF as application worksheet function. That way I didn't have to type it here. I actually thought when I did that that I'd be using lots of worksheet functions, but it turns out I'm only using one. So this all seems kind of silly in retrospect, but here we are. Uh, we're going to loop through each cell in the range. So if we pass it four cells or 50 cells, it's going to go through each one. Uh, one at a time, and it's going to do a find to figure out where the dash occurs. So wf.find, worksheet function.find, find the dash in cell.value. Now, this uh, quick and dirty function here is going to assume that there's a dash everywhere. If we pass it a cell that doesn't have a dash, we're going to get a crash uh, and it won't uh, return. So in a real situation, we might do something more robust with some error checking, but right now I'm just counting on there being dashes every time. So, we take the left of cell dot value, starting at where dash minus 1, that's the number of cases, multiply that by 30. Take the uh, mid of cell dot value at where dash plus 1, in other words, right after the dash, get all those characters, and that's the number of loose eggs in addition to the full tray. So, this uh, this is a single line of code, these are continuation characters here. Uh, so, this single line of code is adding up the total number of eggs. We're kind of throwing out the, the trays at this point. We're just adding eggs, adding eggs, adding eggs, adding eggs, and then uh, go back and get the next cell. After we processed all the cells, we have an egg count. So we can calculate the full case. That should actually be full tray, I guess. Take the integer of the egg count divided by 30, and then how many eggs are left over. That's egg count minus 30 times full case. Uh, and then we're going to return uh, a value back to Excel, and we have to assign uh, the text to a variable called sum eggs because that's the name of the function. So, full case ampersand quote dash quote another ampersand and left over. All right, so let's give it a try. So, equal sum eggs, specify this range here 131 5. We'll copy that all the way across, and then here equals sum eggs, whoops, it should be able to work going across, no hassles there, 21, 25, copy that down, yes, and these checkouts the numbers that were manually calculated beforehand, all right, so a quick little, this is called a user defined function in VBA to allow us to uh, do those calculations. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Wow, uh, this question, this is a tough one. This is definitely one of the harder ones that uh, we've ever tried to answer. And actually, looking at this right here, since I already know there is no formula that can do this, I'm just going to steal your sum eggs, come over to this sheet, and do the sum egg. Well, okay, I guess there is a formula, but this is going to be crazy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do it in multiple steps here, just so we can see the different pieces of the formula, then we'll put it all together, and we'll see a few other good tricks too. Now, the essence of this is there's a dash, right? Everything to the left we are the trays, we need to add those up. Everything to the right are the eggs, we're going to need to do two things with those, get the uh, divide by 30, get the integer part for trays, and then whatever eggs are left over. Uh, all right, so I'm going to come here. The first thing is we can see this dash, and it's everything to the left, so I'm going to try the left function. And I'm just going to do a function 
argument array operation. Now, this text, I'm going to give it all of these. Now, notice we have six cells into that argument that's expecting a single item. So that means the left function is going to spit out six answers. Now, comma, number of characters, we just need to know where the dash is, right? It's three there, it's two there. I'm going to use search. Now, search and find are the same, except for search is not case sensitive. I'm going to search for that dash in double quotes within, well, we need to give it a second. This second function here, we're going to give this argument here more than one value. So it's another function argument array operation. Again, now search will spit out uh, six answers because we gave it six uh, cells there. F9, we can see it gives us an array. We need to subtract one from each one of those to get the actual position that the left needs to use. We can close that off. If I highlight this, we can see that the left is now F9 spitting out exactly what we need. Now, those are text numbers, Control-Z. So we add, or any math operation will convert those text numbers back to numbers. So I'm going to F9, and there we go. I used plus 0. You could use double negative if you want. Now, to get total trays, I could use the sum, but this would require Control-Shift-Enter because it's got an array operation. But I'm going to use sum product. It doesn't require Control Shift Enter. That argument there can handle array operations. We're not using some product to multiply. We're just using it to add this array. Control Enter, copy it over. That's the total number of trays from the left. Now, now we need to get everything from the right. And I could use right and then search and len, but I'm going to use the replace function. Now, the replace needs the old text, another function argument array operation. Replace says, hey, where do you want to start? I'm going to start at character number one and go all the way to that position of the dash. And again, we're going to have to make another function argument and array operation there. This will be an array of values. But uh, replace is going to go from one all the way to three here. And it's going to ask me, what's the new text? I'm going to use double quote, which is a null texting. But here it'll instruct replace to put nothing. All right, so if I highlight this, and F9, you can see there are our numbers from the right. The, those are the number of eggs. Control-Z, I'm going to add, add 0, and that will give me all the numbers. And I can use some product to add them. Whoops, some product to add. So this is the total eggs. Now we have total eggs, and we need to do two things. One is get 30 divided by 65 is 2, and then the remainder. Guess what? I'm going to copy this little piece right here, Control-C. And I'm going to use the quotient function. Now, why the quotient? Because quotient is related to mod. Quotient can take something in the numerator. And if I comma divide by 30, it gives me the integer part. So there's the number of trays on the right. And now I come over here and do the related mod, that same little bit, divide by 30. And this gives me whatever the remainder is. So there we go. Now, this is the little bit that needs to be joined with the dash to the end. And we need to add the 65 and this 2. I'm going to use the clipboard. I'm going to clear it. I'm going to copy this, which is the total trays from the left, Control-C. This is the total trays from the right, Control-C. I'm loading them up over here. And then this is the last little bit we need to join uh, together with a dash. So I come down here, equals. I need to take boop, all the trays from the left and add it to all the trays on the right, and then join it. Shift-7 to get to the ampersand, uh, double quotes, dash, double quotes, and join it to the mod. You've got to be kidding me. That is a gigantic formula. Control Enter. That is just ridiculous. And there we have it. Now, if we need it up here also, check this out. I'm going to copy this in edit mode, Control C, and come up here and Control V. And guess what? I need to take all the C2 to C7 and replace it with C2 to E2. If I did replace right now with a single cell highlighted, it would do this cell and this cell. In essence, it would look through all of the cells in the spreadsheet. So I'm going to trick it by highlighting one cell next to it, Control H. Whoops, I did Alt H, Control H. I'm going to look for all the C2 to C7s and replace C2 to E2. Replace all. Click OK, click Close, and copy this down. 
Wow, that is insane. It is amazingly insane what we humans require Excel to do. I'd rather just use that sum eggs function than that big uh, array formula. And I'm sure there's actually an easier way to do that, but that's the best I could think of. All right, we'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. Wow, Mike, that is a thing of beauty. That formula makes me say, who needs VBA? And this trick over here, copying all the bits over to the clipboard, I love that. And then the replace up here, uh, brilliant, Point two. Excel is fun. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.